Hey, so this is Ramon Ray with Smart Hustle Magazine and Infusionsoft. And who are you and who you work for? My name is Alfred Edmond Jr. and I'm Senior Vice President and Chief Content Officer for Black Enterprise. Awesome. And you are also an awesome author of this book. What's the name of the book and tell me uh, what's inside of it. Um, it's a book called Loving in the Grown Zone from um, my business with uh, my partner Zara Green and the co-author of the book. Um, the business is A to Z Personal Growth Enterprises. And the book really is a personal growth book disguised as a relationship book. But it talks about the process you should go through in order to um, find healthy relationships, healthy romantic relationships well, of honor, esteem, and respect. And the goal is really to help people to get through this landmine that results in 50% divorce rates and 80% of people being unhappy in their relationships to, to find out what's the way to um, identify and prepare yourself for healthy, sustainable relationships. And now, as you know, <coughs> Alfred, uh, Smart, Smart Hustle Magazine is all about business. Now, yes. does marriage and relationships have anything to do at all with business? Can we have a sucky marriage, sucky relationship, sucky life partner, and can our businesses be well? Can you? My point is, can you help us understand the the correlation between a healthy relationship and a better business, well, if there I'll, is one. I'll point to a couple things. Okay. One, um, the longest chapter in the book is the book about money, okay. love and money, because people forget that a marital contract is a financial and legal contract as much as it is an emotional contract mm -hmm. and spiritual contract. So on, on the very basic level, when you're marrying someone, you are in fact forming a financial partnership. And of course, we know money issues are a big reason why people divorce and the fallout that results from that. The, the other thing that's important to understand is that all relationships are built, have to be built on a healthy, sustainable foundation. Mm -hmm. So when you're merging two businesses, for example, the, the same principles that um, bring healthy relationships in a romantic relationship have to be present in order for mm -hmm. two business partners to grow and develop together. So there's a lot of correlation um, in terms of what makes a partnership work. How do you run and manage a business? How do you do it in concert with someone else? How do you resolve conflict? Um, What's, who, how do you split things up if you decide that it's time to dissolve the partnership? And that can be very, very ugly and costly, or it can be very, very smooth and beneficial. The other thing, as a stu someone who's a student of business biographies and, and entrepreneurial biographies, you'd be shocked how many businesses have been destroyed because of failed marriages and, and uh, affairs and, and divorces that kill and destroy businesses, because in many cases, businesses are part of the assets of a divorce as much as anything else. The flip side is also true. When you look at very, very successful entrepreneurs, and there are exceptions to the rule, but many of them, including the founder of Black Enterprise, Earl Graves, will point to a spouse who was a key partner, whether at home or side by side with them in the business, that created kind of this kind of stability and support that allowed them to focus on building the business. And I've seen him do that. I was at one of the uh, entrepreneurs conference that Black Enterprise does, and he gave acknowledgement, or there's a video. Yeah, I've, yeah. My point is, I've yeah, seen him do that in some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was alive, he never failed to. Uh, acknowledge her as a full partner in his his, his success, um, and she did work in the company as well. But even when she wasn't, his her ability to maintain things in the home front, take care of their three sons, the oldest of which is our CEO now, um, allowed him to focus on doing the things he needed to do because it was his business, but it was both of their dreams. And, and I've, I've seen that over and over and over again. Another great example: um, the, um, Reginald F. Lewis, the late Reginald F. Lewis, and his widow Lloyd Lewis who years after his passing has maintained his legacy because she was you know, the, the, the foundation that he stood on for him to accomplish what he accomplished with the acquisition of Beatrice International, the landmark leverage buyout um, of 1987, which I covered my first year at Black Enterprise. So when you're talking about a stable business life, in many, many cases that goes hand in hand with a stable personal life, home life, married life. And uh, unhealthy relationships in your personal life can be extremely disruptive to business. In fact, if you're really doing it professionally when you do a business merger, um, when major companies merge, they will do yes. an evaluation. What is your personal life like? They, they get into everything. They get into everything because we are about to marry our finances, our assets. We become legally liable if, some, if you do something crazy and I'm just a partner in a business, I could still be held liable for your behavior. So there, there are very, very strong relate, correlations between how we manage our personal and romantic relationships, especially if we want to get to millionaire, billionaire, multi-billionaire status and do business with major companies because all of that stuff can, hap can impact the health and, and, and future of a company. And I know this won't do justice to the book, but I encourage everyone to check it out, A Loving uh, in the Grown Zone. But Alfred, tell us, for those young entrepreneurs who are about to get married, um, what is your quick 
uh, 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 insight from that they can read in the book to, to make sure that they, that they get married or have a, a lifelong partner and on the right page? What's your, what's your uh, uh, quick insight to them before they get, because that's what this is all about, how to not get hooked up the wrong way. Well, let me, let me give you a couple of resources. Obviously, lovinginthegrownzone.com is where you can find information about the book. And we talk about the steps you should take before you even get involved in a relationship, the things that you should be doing in your own life to, as a single person, unattached, to prepare for healthy relationships and the things you should be looking for. One of those rules is that the last things you give up to get a relationship or keep one is access to your body, your money, your heart, or your home. Love it that most of the time when there is a disaster is because you surrendered one of those things prematurely. There's a resource on our website at um, grownzone.com that 13 things you should know before mm. you surrender access to those things. And it ranges to, to everything from financial history, family history, sexual lifestyle, and, and it's really funny, we just did an interview for a business blogger a couple of weeks ago, and we it realized during that interview that the same 13 checkpoint issues that you, you should look at for a potential mate very much correlate with the checkpoints that businesses look at before they decide to merge with you. Because the goal is to avoid any unforeseen circumstances that can create disaster. But if you go to grownadvice.com, we talk about money issues, um, relationship issues, health issues, and other issues that will impact your ability to, to uh, create sustainable relationships, both in life and love, as well as in business. Now, Alfred, thank you very much. And uh, this is Ramon Ray with Smart Hustle Magazine and Fusionsoft talking to the awesome, awesome author, a uh, co-author of Loving in the Grown Zone uh, with uh, Zara Green and Alfred Edmund Jr. Thank you. My pleasure, man. Thank you. <laughs>